Groin mobility testing is where we're going to look at our ability to move uh, the musculature more so specifically to the inner thigh. So the first test we're looking at is getting down into this butterfly position. I have a little bit of restriction in the pants here, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. We're going to get into this butterfly position. Can you push your knees down towards the floor? So you're starting here. Are you able to actively push down to have that knee be about a fist distance away? So as I'm coming up a little bit short, but I have, do have the restriction. In order to pass that test, we want to be able to get that knee to that distance there. So if you're having limitations with the groin mobility test and you're not able to pass, here are some exercises that may be able to improve on that. So we have our handy dandy foam roller. We'll set this down here. We're gonna look for that inner thigh area. So we're gonna get it right on that section there and you're rolling up and down. You can change the angle where you're a little bit more towards the top of the thigh or more towards the backside here. So you can change up positioning as you're rolling. Another way you can do this is get onto the hamstring this way and then just turn your leg this direction and roll in this fashion. So you can do it this way, almost sitting, and then the other way on your stomach. So about 30 seconds to a minute each side, testing that out. Another exercise that can help with groin mobility is the inner thigh rock backs. So you're gonna get in this position, hands down, foot out to the side, hands in front, and you're gonna sit back and then back up. So you're rocking back to feel that stretch on that inner thigh as you come down and then out of it. So you're gonna shoot for 10 reps and then you'll switch sides. Working on that same thing here, arms out stretch and sitting back. The other exercise is the frog stretch. So you're gonna get into that similar position you were for the test, and you're gonna bring your feet close together, knees spread out, hands in front, and you're gonna sit back here and back up. Sitting back and back up, and we're looking to mobilize that inner thigh area to help you improve on passing that test. Groin mobility testing is important for basketball players, especially if you're thinking about lateral movement, moving side to side. This is an area that may be commonly injured, especially if you're doing a lot of cutting um, and different movements on the court with the ball or without the ball. So making sure you have the available range and the flexibility to move in that fashion is gonna be helpful for you on the court.